Hi guys. Today I'm gonna to try a new recipe. It's called sour cream and crab meat frittata. So I'm deciding to try this one uh, because I don't normally eat seafood and I figured I would try something that I think my uh, characters in my series would like since they're living in the tropics on the islands. Um, they eat a lot of fish and crab and other seafood. So I figured, hey, why not give it a try? So today I'm using a recipe from this cookbook. So if we turn to page 26. I'm doing the sour cream crab meat frittata with onion. So the recipe today calls for one tablespoon of olive oil, half an onion chopped, salt and black pepper to taste, half a teaspoon of cilantro, three ounces of crab meat chopped. I'm going to end up using the whole can because there's uh, a little bit more than the three ounces in this can. Uh, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, four eggs, slightly beaten, and half a cup of sour cream. So this is my crab meat, and the uh, cans just says to check for check for shells because there may contain some shells. So I'm just dumping this out, and there's a little thing of paper. I'll just pull the paper out. And I'll have to go through this and see if there's any shells before I cook it. This recipe calls for baking um, the frittata in a skillet and placing it in the oven. But my skillet, I don't think I can put it in the oven. So instead I've decided to use a casserole dish. So I put all my crab meat and onion, salt and pepper at the bottom of this. And then I'm about to put the egg and sour cream and seasonings over top. My egg, sour cream and seasoning mixture is now over top the crab meat and onion. And I'm just waiting for my oven to go to 350 degrees and then I'll bake it inside the oven uh, for 16 minutes. Here's the baked product. Uh, what I did differently is um, I actually baked it for another 10 minutes. Uh, I guess the casserole dish didn't heat up uh, as much as the skillet would. Uh, so that was my difference. So I added an extra 10 minutes of bake time. So here's my uh, sour cream crab meat frittata with onion. So it turned out quite nicely. It's about an inch, half an inch thick. Looks great. Uh, the cool thing about this recipe is it came from a book from another uh, independently published author. So I looked them up and I thought that was pretty cool because I'm an independent author. I write science fiction. Um, so again, here it is. I'm going to give it the taste test. So give this a try. So it's eggy. It has a little bit of spice to it. It has a little bit of a fish taste because of the crab meat, but it's not overpowering. I actually, I like it quite a bit. It's kind of like, um, it kind of tastes like a different spin on breakfast. I'll be make, making this one again for sure. I had my husband try it, but he's not a big uh, seafood fan. He ate it, but didn't go for seconds. But I definitely will. I'll make it again. So this is, uh, this is the sour cream and crab meat frittata with onion. And this was the recipe book that I grabbed it from. All right, that's it for now. Bye.